In this video, I'm gonna show you why we chose a toy hauler for full-time RV living, even without having a toy. What's going on, guys? We have been living in our fifth wheel camper as a family of four with two dogs for a little over three months now. During that time, we have traveled all down the East Coast, making our way to Florida for the winter. And we have been doing all that in our 43-foot toy hauler. So originally when we were deciding on a fifth wheel camper, a toy hauler was not even in the picture. We do not have a toy per se. So I guess when you hear the word toy hauler, you kind of think, well, I don't have a toy. I guess I don't really need a toy hauler. And we were pretty much dead set on like the bunkhouse models, like the Solitude. We liked the Solitudes from Grand Design and we liked the idea of having a bunkhouse. So why did we ultimately change our mind and decide on a toy hauler? And there is much more to a toy hauler than just hauling a toy. Let me explain. And also the more we went and looked at those bunkhouse models, the more they kind of felt just restricted and the more they just were not making sense for us. And then the more I kept looking at the larger garages of the toy haulers, the more I kept seeing the potential in that and how we could customize that space to fit our family's needs. So that is what we did. We went with the toy hauler and here we are. So my wife and I decided we wanted to make the back area our bedroom. So what we did is the front main suite we were gonna make into the kids bedroom. So we completely tore the king size bed out of there and turned that into two separate beds for the kids. Now, I'm not gonna completely get into how we remodeled it and did it. I do have all the footage from that that I'm gonna be making a separate video on, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. But we knew we wanted our bedroom back here, kids' bedroom up front. So I remodeled that for them, and then that left me with a very large blank canvas back here for me to work with. Now, our model is a Momentum 381M by Grand Design, and we have the 15-foot garage, so it's a very nice large area back here. And when we got it, I absolutely loved the back bed being on a jack system. This just makes a ton of sense to me. So beds take up a lot of floor space during the day when you're not using them. And the idea of being able to lift that up and out of the way to create much more floor space back here during the day, just that won me over, just that reason alone. Because when you have a bed sitting here during the day, that's literally all it's doing is taking up space. So that was definitely just a game changer for me. Another huge reason for the toy hauler was work. Because even though we live in this full time, we still have to make an income, we still have to work. My wife has a normal nine to five job, and I've seen a lot of people with the other models, they convert their bunkhouses into offices. But with kids, we did not have that option to convert a bunkhouse into an office. So when I knew that the back bed was on jacks and you could raise it up during the day, when you're not sleeping, get the bed up and out of the way. I made two desks underneath the bed to give us our space, our office space to work. And this has worked great. These two desks have been phenomenal. And also me personally, I'm up early in the morning, well before my wife even thinks about getting up. And I still have enough space to come down here, get on my laptop and work while she still sleeps in the bed above me. And also on that note of a workspace, being on the road full time, this gives us a perfect spot to homeschool our children. Either both of us or one of us can sit at our desks here. We bring in their little wooden table and chairs to act as their desk. And basically it turns it into a little classroom for them. Next up, with full-time living on the road comes laundry. And with a family of four with two dogs, a lot of laundry. We have a two-in-one combo washer and dryer back here that we try to do one load a day. Usually that keeps up with everything. And with the bunkhouse models, these two-in-one washer and dryers are located like in the front bedroom. So they're kind of crammed in the closet and it kind of made accessing them a pain. With ours right now, it's very open and accessible. 
when you got to do laundry, it's right there ready to go. So that has been another huge advantage of the toy hauler option. Another thing we have loved about it is it can act as like a mudroom slash foyer area. An area for the dogs to come in and dry off if they've been swimming or it's been raining out. An area for us to come in after it's been swimming to change out of the wet clothes. It has just been a large area for that type of stuff that I think often gets overlooked. I just think something like that, when you're living in a house, that's something you definitely take for granted. And with a toy hauler, you have that area to do that. Having the drop down patio in the back. Now, when we first bought our toy hauler, this was like the main perk of it. This is what you thought was like the best thing. Cause when you're at an RV park and you see it, you think that looks really cool. Honestly, I think it's a little bit overrated. It is nice to have, obviously, uh, but since we've been doing this for three months, we have not used it that much. But it is worth mentioning in the video because it is nice to have. It's a nice place uh, to keep because it's all fenced in so the kids can play back there. The dogs can go out and lay back there. And it also has an awning over it as well, which is kind of nice, but I think Literally the best part about it is I'm shooting back here right now doing this voiceover type thing and the best part about it is I have it down and the natural light that it brings in that is by far the best part about it because it basically turns your whole back into a window. So when we were transitioning from our regular house to living full-time in a fifth wheel, a huge question for me in this full-time living was where was I gonna work out? And this toy hauler part back here gave me exactly what I needed. I bought a pair of adjustable dumbbells and I can basically turn it into a little gym back here in the morning. Uh, another awesome part is this is meant to be like a garage for a toy obviously so the floor and everything is pretty rugged so it's rubberized so it's perfect for working out and stuff like that too and probably the biggest advantage to this as you can tell I'm saying just a lot of advantages we will get into a couple cons but the biggest advantage to this is storage and when you're living full-time in one of these that is something you definitely lack the garage part back here has gave us plenty of storage. So when we're transitioning from park to park, we load up to head to the next destination. This is the perfect spot back here to throw all of our outdoor stuff. So we got our four bikes that we store back here. We each have bikes. Uh, we got the solo stove, the grills, the dog fence. I have my table saw, my miter saw, because I, I run another YouTube channel where I do my woodworking. And like I said a few seconds ago, this is meant to be a garage, so it's all rubberized. So storing all that back here, you're not really going to harm anything. The floor is meant to take abuse. So basically anything we store outside when we're set up at camp, we can store in here on travel days. And that has just been amazing. With a regular bunkhouse model that we were looking at I have no idea where would we where we would store that stuff we would have to you know invest in a bike rack the dog fence I have no idea what we would do with it so basically it's our office our kids classroom our laundry room our mud room our gym our outdoor balcony our storage area for travel days and it's all those things while being our bedroom Oh, and did I also mention we have our own bathroom back here? So this is kind of a pro and a con for me. So this is the perfect opportunity to jump into the cons of a toy hauler. The biggest con for me, and like I said, I want to be clear, I have no turning back on getting a toy hauler. If we were to do this all over again, I would 100% get another toy hauler. But there is a couple cons. The biggest con for me is it does cut into your living space. So the mid area of our fifth wheel is our kitchen and our living space. And this is a lot smaller compared to other models that aren't a toy hauler. So that spot in toy hauler models will drastically be reduced, I think. 
And I just mentioned the bathroom being both a pro and a con. Honestly, I could have gotten away with just the front main bathroom and gotten rid of this because this cuts into that living space even more. Our TV's kind of at a slant. I would have rather gotten rid of that bathroom and have that wall be straight and have the TV against that wall because that would have opened up the middle a little more. But it is nice having our own bathroom back here as well. Another con I have found is it's not heated great back here. Um, being in Florida right now, that's not a big deal, obviously. But when we were in North Carolina and Tennessee, it did get below freezing. And you do notice that in here. The toy hauler area, at least in our model, has one heater vent where the living area and the front bedroom have multiple ones and it just circulates around much better. Definitely back here, it's kind of a, a colder spot. But to combat that, all we did was you buy an electric space heater and that, that solves everything. It's been fine that way. Like I said, this is me and my wife's bedroom back here basically. And storage for clothes is very limited. With the front bedroom, you've got you know a slide out right there that has the closet and the dresser all built in. We had to buy the little Walmart Sterilite dressers, so there's not a ton of storage, but it works. Another thing is, it's nice having this big 15 foot garage, but this thing is massive for towing from place to place. I have gotten a lot more used to it now, doing it for three months, switching places week after week. But we have found we will be staying for lengthier stays coming up. It'll just be less stressful and we'll do two to three weeks at a time instead of one week increments. So that is the cons. Like I said, not that big of a deal. They are definitely not enough to change my mind to go back to a normal model. I think the pros outweigh the cons by a ton. So there you have it guys. That's why we chose a toy hauler. If you're looking at doing this whole time, hopefully this video helped you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.